we're back for episode 6 of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP. And we are entering Act 3 at the 50% mark here. So, Woo! Wormy Dude's here to tell us about what's going on. He always does this little hand gesture before we get started. I think it's like he's holding a plate. It's a cigar! What are you talking about? Oh, it's a cigar? Wow, how can you tell that? It's a cigar! He reminds me of the Goombas from the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> they had really tiny heads, don't you remember? <laughs> oh, okay, I guess you see it now. I've seen it the moment you... Yeah. yeah it's... Wow. It's actually true. That makes me... I, I, I don't know if sad or offended. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he cares. He's just doing his thing. So, let's begin session three. Note, this session typically requires a lunar month to complete. So you have tamed the gold trigon and the storm has miraculously lifted. Bravo on that. Consult the megatome and study its workings should you become lost or confused. A deathless specter still lurks in the darkness beneath Mingita. I'm scared of that thing. Consider the cosmic geometry of the trigon trifecta. Oh, I like how they're different colors. I want to get all the colors. Observe the moods of the moon. Our research shows that social support networks may play a role in the outcome of this phase of the SSNS EP experiment. And then it tells me to tweet this, like maybe that's going to help. Be Do advised... it! What? Do it! Do tweet! It. I still have to link it to my account, I never did. Oh. Be advised that henceforth we will be monitoring your inputs in relative silence. Don't know what that means, but sounds pretty scary. Alright. So I'm laying in a heap on the ground, is that what it... Oh. You died? Maybe it was just a very difficult dilemma to get through. We groggily awoke from a super deep sleep with no firm recollection of what had happened. We were reminded of the miracle in the meadow and our encounter with the gold trigon. What new powers had we been granted? Bogfellow was totally floored at how awesome excuse me, and crazy the fight with the gold trigon sounded from the description we gave him. It was kinda awesome. Logfellow wondered about how maybe the Gold Trigon might be connected with uh, to the Grim Mysteries beyond the Iron Gate in the meadow. Logfellow didn't dig Grim Mysteries, so he chose to go home and chop wood. <laughs> yeah, that's his thing. <laughs> There's about half as many sheep as there usually are here. Yeah. I wonder if that fight took most of them out. Well, with the amount of tunnels there, there was, yes, they are all dead. That's sad. No, it's not. It's sheep. They gave you wool and meat. That's all right. No, they actually did not give you meat. Oh well. I don't like that my guy is flickering like that. I want him to be normal again. Well, it's because you're close to death, right? No, but how do I get better? You just keep going. Oh. That's it. I could try visiting back to. Whoa. What the hell? What the hell is that? It's really big. I think it's a record. Yeah, it is. It's the Disc of Doom! What is this? It's just sitting in the forest here. That's strange. <laughs> you know, the, the first... Um, um, quick time event in Resident Evil 4? The, the big boulder? Yeah, dodge the rock, I remember. That's it. Oh. It's that one. Beyond the cavernous cave in the meadow, we came upon a secluded grove with a collection of strange stone sculptures... structures. Was this the Trigon Grove? <laughs> As we stood beside the first stone structure, we thought of the gold Trigon and we felt our sword stir. Ladies? <laughs> I, I was going there too. I was going there too, but you, you did it first. <laughs> By the way, talking of, of scary, I got some coffee. Scary coffee? Oh. The scary black French coffee of doom. Scary black coffee, okay. I got this coffee into my belly. 
think I'm gonna hold up my sword now. Yeah. Something good's gotta happen. No? Yes. Yeah. Well, the dog's barking at this activated looking trigon bit, so I'm gonna go talk to that. I guess there's one to correspond with each piece that you get. And then when you do all three, you probably get a record or something. Or maybe the game is not that obvious, but that's just me. Beyond the cavernous cave, da, 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 da. we did that already. Maybe I need to hit it. Yeah. Let's hit it. Yeah. Woo! Well, it, it's done. You, you, okay, you, you I, I don't know. I thought maybe there was more to it than that. Oh! That's the fucking Master Sword! Looks like a cross to me. Oh, it's the sword! Shut up! It has to be! I guess they don't have a lot of pixels to work with at this resolution, so it may as well be a sword. Who knows? <laughs> if it, and then if it's a stick, it's the stick of doom, and it's yours. Enjoy. Give me... Met a glowing ghostly dude, okay. Glowing ghost dude in the Trigon Grove totally freaked us out at first, to be honest. <laughs> he recognized our Scythian garb, and he saw that we carried the Megatome. He wondered if we understood the esoteric, esoteric markings inside. In a whisper, he spoke the name of the Deathless Spectre we had awoken in the darkness beneath Mengita, the Gogolithic Mass. That's a appropriately strange name for it. We knew the dreadful name from the old stories and we felt our blood run cold. Up until now, I had the feeling that the Gogolithic Mass saw you as a bit of a tourist. <laughs> now that you find the Song of Sorcery and tamed the Gold Trigon, you will find your every step is haunted. We couldn't tell if the glowing ghost dude was cheering us on or psyching us out or what. We told the ghost dude of our intention to detonate the Megatome atop Mingitaw and release the Gogolithic Mass from immortality. We asked about the Trigon Trifecta and the locations of the remaining two Trigons, but his response was irritatingly obtuse. <laughs> the remaining two Trigons exist only in the dreams of the mountain folk. Yeah, I, it's not that obtuse to me, because I've been in my dreams before and found stuff. Locating the remaining two Trigons is not so much a question of where as it is when and how. The glowing ghost dude sure did talk a lot of unhelpful nonsense. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, what have you done? Really? Can I... Okay, this is a problem when RPGs do this. It's the fucking owl all, all, all over again. Shut up. Uh, why? Just get me out. All right, that actually. Then you're gonna say yes time. again, and then he's he, he's gonna talk all over again. <laughs> it's just uh, everyone's instinct. Owl. Like you need to touch stuff a bunch of times, like after you're done with it, and that's what happens. You get stuck. So can I do anything else here, you think? No, I guess you're done. Just wanna make sure. Yeah, I think I'm done too. So, Dreams of the Mountain Folk, eh? Let's go have a look at that. Just walk past this giant record like it's not even here. It's sunny in the background. When I'm walking all phased out like that, I feel sort of like Samus with the super speed boots only walking in super slow motion. <laughs> like, where's some bricks I can break through? Yeah. It's probably the only good thing that, uh... Other M did. I'm gonna go in here in case I can rest and make myself stop flickering. But don't you love the flicker? No, it's kind of annoying actually. Huh. Yes! I think Woo! it's working. Yep, my health's coming back. You're sleeping already. Can only have four? Yeah, I don't I know. Guess you, it's usually you, at five, you, isn't it? Yeah, you died a bit inside, I guess. <laughs> That's sad. 
Oh, crap. I accidentally went into the dream world, I guess. Huh. Oh, you did? Well, it said I had to be here anyway. I was probably going to talk to those people, though, first. There was people in there? The outside, I mean. Oh. The log fella. Yeah, okay. And beard lady. Well, the, the log fella doesn't care. Well, but I have to get in his dreams, don't I? Uh, that, that would contain, like, Dreadmore shenanigans and shit. <laughs> what? Being a log fella in, in Dreadmore is, like, one of the strongest overpowered skills ever. Okay. Yeah. Axe Mastery? It's scary, man. Uh, so I probably shouldn't bother being in here then, huh? Uh, probably not. I feel like I just want to check everything in case there's something here, but yeah, you're probably right. I'll go back. It's nice that you can come back, though. Maybe there's a nice song playing, but I can't hear it. Yeah, it's fine. It's oh, okay. still raining here, though, so I thought I got rid of all the rain. Guess not in our dreams. Yeah. Walk faster. Please, this rain is not heavy. Ah, ah. Oh, right, quick time events. <laughs> you know, right? Yep. That's all the rain! Oh, fuck. I've pressed X to Jason before. Oh, this is not the right way. I forgot Jason! the throne is on the other end by the lake where I just was. Oh, really? Derp. Jason! Actually, what I did is that um, me, my cousins, and my sister, we are big fans of the first game. Of, um, A of Indigo Prophecy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I prefer this one, but everyone was alright, too. Only, you know, Indigo Prophecy was a bit more psychedelic. Mm -hmm. With visions and nightmares and, and um, Tron spiders, I guess, and stuff. I didn't get super far into Heavy Rain. I actually found it rather boring. I didn't really like that there was so little gameplay. It was all just watching. Yeah, but, you know, with, with multiple people, the... the you know, it starts getting fishy and stuff. Shit, the throne's not here. Oh, I can believe. You gotta believe. Oh, maybe you had to do this. Man, you're space Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, flashing screen. Oh! Alright, this is a place that I can deal with. Yeah. So Literally. we had to come here. Alright, so I guess I skipped a few steps then. That's good. Okay, so the Golden Dragon pretty much gives you uh, Jesus powers, right? So you have less life, but it doesn't matter because now you can resurrect. Yeah, so I that's understand. Hard. That's good. Okay. So you gotta find more sprites. I told you, man. Necromancy power is level 2. Less life, but you can resurrect as much as you want. <laughs> I love necromancers, by the way. Just That's just me. What class were you planning on pick for picking for Diablo? Usually I'd pick, uh, well, you know, Sorceress, of course, but uh, I loved the Assassin, the Necromancer, and the Barbarian, I bet, you know, a bit more than, than, than the rest. Yeah. Pal I, I, I would love to play Paladins, but every time it's like, oh, hammers. Well, they got rid of Paladins in 3 anyway. Yeah. There's not really a lot of options. I mean, there's like a barbarian, a sorcerer, some sort of long range gun shooting demon assassin guy. Yeah. And a witch doctor and a monk. The monk is, pr is probably what the, uh, you know, the paladin would be like, I guess. I guess. Seems like a lot of compromises. Could have just had a few more classes, right? But I guess they got to save those for the expansion pack. Oh, you had to go there. 
Well, you know, it's it's the reality of the industry now. When they design a game, they purposely leave out content so they can add it in later, like a revelation. Yeah, I I guess you heard about the um, Bioware case, right? Uh, which one specifically? With uh, Mass Effect, Ma with Mass Effect. The ending. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Did it, it? Did you actually play the Mass Effect? I played the first one about three quarters the way through, and I never finished it. I got stuck on something, so I never bothered with two, and obviously not three. Really? I thought it was a pretty cool game, but I didn't know that it was that big of a deal. Like, I thought the combat in it was so awkward. It wanted oh. to be like Gears of War, but it felt terrible. Yeah, it's not... And I uh, heard they I... made it better at, to the detriment of interaction later on. Well, I guess you played, like, Soldier? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I've played so, uh, Soldier on my first run, managed to beat the game, and then I, I just said, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be like the asshole character, but I decided to take, you know, not the magics, but the uh, the Mass Effect cla classes, uh -huh. and it, it felt so much better. The game was made for, you know, special abilities. But at the same time, I mean, they did design the game to be played in any way that you could pick in the options menu, right? So, yeah. I mean, I picked one of the game's options. <laughs> So well, it should still play you, well. You played on on console? Yeah. Yeah, Soldiers with a mouse is not that bad. Okay. Uh, I've never played console, so I've never, I guess, experienced it. But I should I should just do it maybe and get back to you and say, yeah, Soldiers on console sucks. But I can't. Oh well. I did actually buy Mass Effect 2, but I only owned it for one night. And really? the reason for that is at the time I worked at GameStop, so we had like access into the POS systems. We could see when like trade values were going up and down. So okay. we figured out that that game was actually worth more to trade back in with a promotion than it was to keep. So I actually uh. made a profit off of getting a new copy of Mass Effect 2 and trading it back in, and then I got the Cerberus code, so now if I ever buy it again used, I have it. Huh. Clever. So we we kind of screwed the system on that one, it was kind of funny. I can't way, you're figure kind of... out what the other places yeah. to click are. Uh, did you try the lower right one? Yeah, I think I've tried all of them now. It's click like crazy. That's what I'm doing. Because last time you got stuck here, but you only you only had to, you know, find a pixel that, that well, is worth. I haven't been here yet. This is a new place. Whoa. Well, yeah, but what are puzzles? Yeah. It is what puzzles. This isn't even Every... a puzzle. This is just you click on everything. Well, on on the water, of course, makes sense. What the you really hell can't am I supposed see? to click on. Thought it would be three it... waterfalls if one of them works. Yeah. Would be so much awesome if you can simply brush, you know, over what you have to click, and then yeah. it, it like shine. But I guess not. You have to click everywhere. Oh, maybe I have to rub the waterfalls. Adopted. No. It's making a sound every time I pass over it. But it made me rub the rainbows. I thought maybe it would do it again. Yeah. You know, it's like rubbing a spitter all over a tank. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna make uh, the, the tank more fierce. It's only gonna annoy him. Then he's gonna be like, dude, go away. That's the only one I can find. I don't get where the other ones are. Maybe you need to brush these clouds away? Did you, did you try that? No, I haven't tried that yet. That's a good idea. But these clouds seem to be yeah, in the yeah, way. They don't seem to go anywhere, though. Hmm. Go away, then. Just yeah, you're right. Fuck this. Let's go away. Because maybe you can move the clouds a bit later. I, I, I don't know. I'm just... No, it's, it's a good, good idea. Possibly. Told you, man. Coffee and good ideas, always. Do not plant a zombie genocide before getting some coffee oh. because it's not gonna work. Oh, that is a foreboding-looking whatever that is. I don't know. It looks like something else. But... Yeah, I wasn't gonna say it, but now that you mention it. Oh. Hello. Inside a titanic hollow tree, we approached the solitary grave and a badass ghost <laughs> showed up to sing us a mad rhyme. Fuck yes! 
Seek the sylvan sprites on the path beyond you with ears, eyes and ears open for their sonorous spooms. Again with the damn spooms. Send all five sylvan sprites skyward to enact a miracle that will attract the trigon you seek. Thanks. That's what I kind of figured was going on, honestly. <laughs> Badass ghost. I guess the game wants you to control the wind. What, I, I don't have Wind Waker abilities. Well, no, but, you know, the clouds and then this. You know, the sparks inside the, the tree are clearly going upward. Wait a minute. Huh? I'm like in Dream World version of the actual place? Or that every single dragon pieces are in, like, these rooms. Oh, that could be too. Yeah. They just copy and pasted the art. Yeah, that makes more sense. Copy pasta! Like Final Fantasy XIV, oh, that was a mess. Yeah, I heard about that. Did you actually oh, play wow, it? It's... No, but um, I'm listening to a, a YouTuber named um, Wow Phony, and he made a montage of every single copy past that ter ter terrain scene. It's uh -huh. horrible. The well seemed unwell. <laughs> it's sick, man. Well, how do you fix a well? Put water in it? Well, if it's poison, you, you, you need to suck it up. Sucker. Hey, ain't no sucker. <laughs> well, sucker. you're a sucker for these people in that game. Oh, jeez, what is that? Whoa. Seems darker. That was some, like, awkward s struggling they just did for a second. <laughs> is this how I wake up? What am I doing here? I guess so. Oh. I didn't mean to wake up. You did forest field? Well, maybe now that, that you're like, like, in a new town or stuff. But I adopt it. I don't know what the hell's going on. And now that I don't know what the hell's going on, I think we should probably end this episode. <laughs> and Where nothing make sure happened. that there is no actual progression that we can speak of, really. I got one, <laughs> one sprite, so I did good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see you next time.